Hi everybody, I'm Malin. And I'm Jenny. Welcome to Mysterious Writings YouTube channel. In this episode, we're going to talk about the lost treasures of the Dunlap broadsides. What exactly are they? Well, that's what we're going to share with you, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Shortly after the July 2nd decision to sever ties with Britain, a fair copy of the Declaration of Independence was taken to the shop of John Dunlap for its printing. Leaders of the newly formed United States wanted to announce this event and distribute the Declaration across the colonies as quickly as possible. Although the exact count is not known, it is estimated around 200 first copies of America's beloved document were produced. The date was July 4th, 1776. These initial copies were printed broadsides. They were large 23 inch by 17 and a quarter inch one sided sheets and differ slightly from the engrossed copy produced a few weeks later now on display at the National Archives in Washington, D.C. The first copies did not include signatures and it was titled A Declaration by the Representatives of the United States of America and General Congress Assembled. The later engrossed document's title is The Unanimous Declaration of the Thirteen United States of America. The Declaration of Independence was meticulously crafted and went on to inspire other declarations of freedoms throughout the world. Although primarily written by Thomas Jefferson, a committee of five members, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Robert Livingston, and Roger Sherman were in charge of the Declaration's creation. The first Dunlap printed copies are highly valued and true treasures to behold as they mark the birth of a nation. What is intriguing is only 26 Dunlap broadsides are accounted for today. And while a person might be quick to assume all others must be lost or destroyed from the passing of almost 250 years since their production, this may not be the case. It seems that every now and then, as recent as 2009, a Dunlop broadside is found. According to a Harvard overview, there were only five copies known to exist in 1888. As time went on, the number increased to eight in 1900, then 11 in 1909, and 19 by the 1950s. Its current number of 26 is a result of some broadsides being discovered in some unexpected and surprising places. For instance, in 1955, a Dunlap broadside was found in an attic in Albany, New York. It was being used as wrapping paper. And in 1968, it is recorded that a copy had been found in a crate, unopened since 1911, in Leary's Bookstore, Philadelphia. Another most incredible discovery of the Declaration is one was found in 1989 by a person looking for an old picture frame to use. Buying one for $4 at a flea market in Pennsylvania, the person went home to replace the frame's picture with the one he purchased the frame for. In this process, he discovered the backing of the picture inside his flea market frame was an authentic Dunlap broadside. This copy of the Declaration sold for over $8 million in the year 2000. Being aware that treasures of these kinds exist and can be discovered is an exciting notion. It encourages keeping your eye out. Might you find a Dunlop broadside the next time you're out searching through old things? Well, we really will have to keep our eyes out. There could be another one out there to find. And you should too. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and as always, see you next time. Right, see you next time, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.